do they forget that they're being recorded? What's going on good people? Welcome to the channel Modern Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Be sure that you are following me on all the platforms you see above and below. Also, if you want me to react to a clip, see a news clip, whatever, reaction videos, go to patreon.com forward slash Modern Renaissance Man to find out how you can do it there, okay? Uh, also, hitting this like button right here, is how my content can consistently be recommended to you and it also helps push my content out in the YouTube algorithm world. Last but not least, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. So ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is not gonna be a long video, especially for some of you that got the short attention span, but yesterday I showed some videos of Karine Jean Piat, press secretary, getting up in front Blatantly blaming the Republicans, blaming Trump for what's happening with FEMA. Then they try to turn around and say what happened with FEMA and where the funds went is a lie. It's false. It's so amazing, though, because what gets me is that you would think, like, do they forget that they're being recorded? I don't think so. See, I think a lot of times if you were just put there to be a reader, for example, if it's something that I'm not interested in and somebody just say, hey, Ty, can you read, you know, like when you were a kid, high school, whatever, not even high school, let's just say elementary. Yeah, definitely elementary. The teacher give you a book. All the kids in the classroom, all you guys are reading the book. Y'all remember that story? Stone Soup. Ty, you're going to read paragraph three. Such and such, you're going to read, I will read it. And we are not going to do this. And we are going to make sure that the stones will be put in fire for a long time. And we will use the stones to put in the suit. Go on to the next person. By the time we get to like the 10th person reading, they get back to me. So, Ty, do you remember what you said? Huh? You read it. See, I was reading it only to read the words. I wasn't reading it to comprehend. I wasn't reading it with the mindset of understanding what I was saying. So the reason why I'm saying that is... This is exactly what Karen Jean Pierre has done. Look what she said about FEMA in regards to where those funds went. Check it out. Thank you. Uh, former President Trump is accusing the Biden administration of using FEMA funding to support undocumented migrants. How is the White House responding to this? I mean, it's just categorically false. It is not true. It is a false statement. Uh, and look. The fact of the matter is, I think Washington Post fact checker uh, did a piece, and the headline recently, just moments ago, not too long ago, and the headline was, no, Biden did not take uh, female relief uh, money to use, uh, to use on migrants, but Trump did. I'll leave it there. Okay. Y'all saw that, right? You heard all that, right? Now, tell me what she's saying right here. Okay. I wanted to ask if the White House plans any legal responses for the state sending migrants on buses, and secondly, if there's plans to reimburse those cities or provide funding for how they're handling that. So on, on your first question, it's basically we're you know referring, I was asked a question like this uh, yesterday to Department of Justice on any legal actions that might be taken or being looked at. Certainly that is for them uh, to uh, take, a, take a look at. Uh, as far as how we're supporting cities, so you know as we've done many times uh, in response to repeated attempts by uh, these Republican officials uh, to create chaos and confusion uh, at the border, we are working to manage the consequences of in including this latest uh, political charade that we're seeing. So FEMA regional administrators have been meeting with city officials on site to coordinate to coordinate available federal uh, support from FEMA and other uh, federal agencies. Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program to eligible local governments and non-for-profit non organizations upon request uh, to support humanitarian relief for migrants. We'll continue to do what we can as a federal government to support uh, these cities as we rebuild our asylum processing system after it was gutted uh, by the Trump administration. 
So, I mean, I'm not the best person in understanding a lot of big words when somebody is pushing out a lot of jargon. I'm not. But to me, I definitely can conclude that in here, she just literally told us what FEMA was doing with the money. She literally said the migrants, other community things, things like that. But this is the kicker. And I told y'all, the only reason why I can relate this is to where I am. It's not happening in my spot down there in Florida. It's not happening in my spot in Tennessee. It's not happening in my spot in Missouri. But where it is happening is my spot up here by Chicago. My spot in Illinois, it is happening there. We are seeing this a lot. And what am I talking about? Those funds weren't used for nothing with the community. What are we talking about? Not like that. Oh, it has to be a disaster or relief. Well, if you've never been to certain areas up in Chicago, those are some disaster areas. But they won't categorically categorize it as that. But then yet at the same time, we're fighting for black people. We're their rights. We're this, we're that. And I told y'all what would happen. Those migrants came to Chicago by Governor Abbott, and rightfully so. And look what happened. Those funds went straight to them, and black folks are up there, man. I'm glad we're doing our due diligence and making sure y'all stay informed, right? But the point is, they do not care about Americans right now. They care about these migrants flooding in. Who's going to keep this money flowing for a lot of these crooked politicians? And Nancy Pelosi said it out loud. When she said, who's going to do the fields? Who's going to do this? She meant that. That's why they're scared of Trump winning because Trump winning, they're going to get out. It's going to be about us. They're making it about them so they can, y'all, it's, it's, it's so much deep stuff I can go into. You can't even imagine it. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there. I'm going to leave y'all with this one more time. Former President Trump is accusing the Biden administration of using FEMA funding to support undocumented migrants. How is the White House responding to that? I mean, it's just categorically false. It is not true. It is a false statement. So FEMA regional administrators have been meeting with city officials on site to coordinate to coordinate available federal uh, support from FEMA and other uh, federal agencies. Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program to eligible local governments and non for nonprofit organizations upon request uh, to support humanitarian relief for migrants. Free this live. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get out of here and leave me a comment. If you want to see the next video that I will be doing in chronological order, it will be up here. If you want to see things I do as a variety on this channel that you didn't know that I did, it's right here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.